power is dissipated by a circuit component, component when some part of the current is in phase with the voltage. Is the voltage and current in phase for a resistor? Yes, they're completely in phase because V equals IR for a resistor. What about for our transmission line? Yes, they are also completely in phase because Z0 is a real number and if we represent the transmission line with a resistor, then we can also relate the voltage and the currents to each other using V is equal to I Z0, the characteristic impedance of the line. This means that there is power on the tr transmission line, but in the case of the transmission line, the power travels down the transmission line as the electric and magnetic fields travel down the transmission line but the power is not dissipated by a lossless transmission line. Soon we'll discuss what happens to the power on, on the transmission line. We just have to remember that the transmission line has a real characteristic impedance of Z0. If the transmission line is lossless, the transmission line carries the power but does not dissipate it. Let's return to our example video. Vg is equal to 1 and we saw that the initial pulse has an amplitude of 0.25 volts. If you couldn't answer this before, now how do you think we get 0.25 volts? For the initial V1 plus wave traveling down this transmission line? Well, what does the battery see when the switch is closed? it sees Z0. So to know the amplitude of the initial voltage wave traveling down the transmission line, we must perform a voltage divider. In this case, V, V1 plus will be equal to Vg times Z0 over Rg plus Z0. Plugging in the numbers, we get V1 plus is equal to Z0 over 3 times Z0. So I'm using these values right here. Rg is 3 times Z0. Z0. And 3 times Z0 plus Z0, we get, we get 1 over 4, which is equal to 0.25 volts. So now we know where the 0.25 volts comes from. Now what about the current? What is the amplitude of the initial current flowing along the transmission line? Does it have the same shape as the voltage wave?